All right, this video is how to make studded winter tires. Uh, cheap and easy. Three boxes of number six half inch stainless steel sheetrock, or uh, uh, sheet uh, metal screws. Uh, they're a little long, but uh, if you have an aggressive tread, they should be okay. So grab yourself some crappy tires that you don't want to use anymore. Uh, these are kind of chewed up, but they'll work just fine. And let's get started. Uh, 1 16th inch drill bit, and we're just going to go and drill in and uh, make a pattern, and uh, I'll show you what to do next. As you can see, just drill through the top of the center of the knobby. Continue this all the way around where you want the studs to go through. Okay, now next we're going to take the screws, we turn the, the uh, tire inside out, and you can see the little holes here that uh, appear when you drill the holes. And all we're going to do is sink these in our gun uh, about halfway. Okay, next step is to take rubber cement, contact cement, and we're going to put a dab on each one of the screw on the threads. You don't need to be too neat about this. You just need to get it on there. And I'm going to do about 30 at a time so it doesn't dry up too much. This is going to act as a lubricant and a sealant and it will kind of also act as a uh, lock tight to prevent the screws from backing out. And once we have a few of them down, screw them on home. It's okay to over tighten them. Get that, get that glue down into them. Don't worry about the mess. We're going to wipe that up later. Okay, once we got a handful of them down, go back with a rag and just smear that contact cement around. Okay, now that we have them all screwed in, I'm going to go back and I am going to put a seal over the screws so they are a little more resistant to coming out and I'm going to spray it with uh, Loctite spray adhesive and uh, on both sides and I'll kind of show you that in a minute here. But first, let's go ahead and just put a light coating over the entire okay once you're happy with your job that you have done uh, trim up any of this excess that you want to and flip it inside out and uh, mount it and there we are we're complete uh, lots of studs for the most part they're right on on schedule through the nubby Every once in a while I missed one. We'll see how that works out. And here I got one on the outside. If I was to do this again, I probably might have thought about going to the inside nubby, but uh, I think uh, I think this will do good for the trails that I go on.